I really think individualization is a uh, it's a theme about people. It's it's in the uh, relationship building theme. And if I were to kind of uh, summarize and kind of shorten the definition, I think it's it really is a theme that gives people a clear ex perception about human uniqueness. Mm -hmm. And it's that perception that really can can lead to helping a person treat and approach a person in a relevant way. So so that's the definition. And what I really like to do when I think about themes, and I don't know if I've done this quite as much on Theme Thursday, but I think sometimes themes get clearer when you compare them and contrast them to other themes. So I'm going to do that a little bit to, to try to shed some light on this theme. First of all, it's interesting that the theme that is most likely paired with individualization is relator. Many times, not not always, but uh, it, the theme that is most likely paired with individualization is relator. And so, um, relator is uh, individualization is really about insight into a person, insight into people, whereas relator is about intimacy with a person, getting closer to a person. So they're they're kind of close that way. They have a lot in common. Uh, individualization is about knowing a person intuitively. It's really being able to kind of pick up on who someone is, sometimes without even spending a lot of time talking, just kind of intuitively understanding who someone appears to be, what makes them tick. Whereas relator, relators also get to know people, but it really involves kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction over time. And obviously, if you've got both of those, that could really enhance the the intuition and the interaction both lead to a a better understanding of a person i think another <clears throat> theme that has some things in common with individualization is empathy and empathy is uh, both of these themes are intuitive themes uh, it, individualization as i've already said is someone who's intuitive about knowing who someone is Empathy is someone who is intuitive about knowing how someone feels. Again, similar, they kind of fit together, but they're slightly different. Um, a couple of themes that I think you can kind of contrast with individualization. Uh, the first one is connectedness. Uh, and just because they're different does not mean that you might not have both of them high. But uh, it helps to kind of shed some light. Um, Individualization, obviously, is about the individual perspective. It's about really paying attention to a person. Connectedness is more of, for, for many people, it's kind of a global perspective, the, the bigger picture of the world. So you've got person, you've got people, you've got human being, you've got humanity. So that's how... Um, individualization and connectedness. Sometimes I use the uh, the metaphor, people with individualization see the tree, people with connectedness see the forest. And uh, so it's kind of the microscopic telescopic. But this, this theme we're going to be talking about today is about the people, the tree, the kind of the microscopic perspective of who someone is by nature, what makes them tick. And then one final kind of a contrast here is individualization and consistency and these are the two themes that are least likely to be paired together if you have high individualization the odds that you're also going to have consistency are pretty pretty rare and I think it makes some sense I think there's some logic to that because these are really two very different uh, themes with regards to perspective the person with individualization is really interested in being relevant to the person I want to make sure that what I do, what I say, how I approach someone fits who this person is. Uh, the person with consistency is a bit more interested in the in the uh, efficiency of the group. It's and it's more about it's not about you. It's about us. It's 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 a more of almost a corporate kind of feel to it. It's kind of like the difference between psychology and sociology. Psychology is about the person. Sociology is about the group, and I think it's the same kind of uh, difference that exists between individualization and uh, consistency. Uh, individualization is about customization, whereas consistency is often about standardization. 
standard operating procedures. We all have to do the same thing. That's standardization. Individualization is, uh, you know, different strokes for different folks here. Um, and then finally, um, I think individualization is about capitalizing on uniqueness, and uh, individualization is about minimizing differences. Some of the nouns that we would use, I think I probably already used them with some of those individualization. They're kind of customizers. I think they're observers of people. In many ways, they're acceptors. They really have an appreciation of the, uh, I call it the diversity of humanity. They kind of like it that people are different. They don't want everybody to be the same. Maybe kind of anthropologists, <laughs> you know, students of people. Um, in terms of some adjectives, I've already used some um, um, intuitive. I think there is an intuitive part to this theme, perceptive, insightful, people-oriented, astute, and uh, diversity-loving. Uh, it's interesting. I think the Clifton Strengths Finder is really a tool for people who are low in individualization. It's a system that enables us to see the distinctions that exist between people even though we might not have that talent. Uh, some, some kind of metaphors or maxims, I mean, it's the one size does not fit all. I think that is a great statement to kind of catch the essence of it. Uh, I also just saw a, uh, this, this phrase on, um, uh, this quote on, I think it was on Facebook on one of the, the Strength Finder websites that somebody put up, so whoever put it up, thank you, it was called, uh, Be Yourself, Everyone Else is Taken. I like that, that th I think it was Oscar Wilde who said that, be yourself, everybody has taken. Uh, the other thing uh, is, is uh, Don Clifton used to tell the story about uh, this school. I think there was a rabbits and squirrels and, and fish and how they, they sent everybody to school and they were teaching the, uh, the squirrel how to, how, to, how to probably swim and teaching the, the rabbit how to climb trees and they were trying to teach the fish how to run and obviously you know, these things were not made to do those things, and so the whole idea about individualizing the approach to people, I think that story is a, a great illustration for it. 